Harvest was probably, you know, ahead of schedule, especially, you know, with the, the lake plantings that we had and then the, the flooding issues we had down in the southeast corner of the state. So, uh, you know, here, we're, you know, we're practically done. Um, harvest was all over the board, heard some really good yields, heard some, you know, not so good yields. Uh, some of the issues that we dealt with was uh, a lot of green stem uh, in fields. Uh, we also had green stem in our research plots. Um, just got back from agronomy meetings uh, and uh, there was probably, you know, 12 <coughs> soybean agronomists from across the U.S. Just about everybody I talked to uh, at the meetings had some level of green stem this, this past year. We're still continuing to see really good yields in the state. Uh, right now, uh, USDA has us at around 50 bushels uh, state average. Uh, for the, the way we started and then mid-season, uh, I think that's, that's I think that's really excellent, you know, actually with some of the conditions we had this year. So uh, those numbers could change. You know, typically the final numbers don't come out till February. So, uh, you know, we're, we're kind of sitting looking pretty good compared to the last several years with the conditions that we had uh, this past year. You know, with the, the, the pandemic and, uh, you know, different things in different countries, uh, there's a lot of rumblings about shortages on just about anything that deals with agriculture. Uh, equipment shortage, uh, pesticide shortages, fertility shortages, labor shortages. And so, uh, you know, it, it looks like it's gonna be a struggle next year to really, you know, really have a, a good crop. Um, we're in the process of finalizing the, the 2022 budgets uh, for all the commodities. Uh, I've looked at some of them. Um, you know, if specifically talking about soybeans, if you just look at fuel and fertility associated with the soybean budgets, uh, we've had to increase those budgets seventy dollars just just by fuel and fertilizer costs. And you know, we can still do do well and have good yields next year, but. It's just going to be a struggle, uh, you know. By increasing those those budgets, you're just going to have to increase your production, you know, to to break even. And you know, some of the numbers I've seen, uh, we're going to have to have you know yields better than the state average. We've had the last several years to to break even. Um, the good thing is, uh, Dr. Trent Roberts and Dr. Nathan Slayton have been doing a lot of work on on potassium fertility. And I'll be presenting a lot of this information at production meetings that we're working on, uh, some blog posts and things like that. But we've got a number of different tools that, to help farmers you know, judge if we need to look at uh, additional fertility. But the first of January is, yeah. is when those production meetings start. And so uh, we're, we're back to face-to-face -face meetings unless something changes in the next few weeks. But I'm excited, I'm ready to get back out see farmers uh, face to face and have that interaction.